Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward. It is modded in 148 scale and it's named as Echo. It's a limited edition which copies F-104 Starfighter in Japan Air Forces service. So this is a fresh release, it should be already available and you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all we have quite nice box here and box art looks really great I would say. Then on the side we have eight marking options which are included into this kit all of them can be replicated with this plastic and on the other side you can see the small reminder that this is a limited edition we have Hasegawa plastic inside Brazilian seed from Edward PE parts and masks eight marking options as you saw before and also book about this aircraft so let's open it it's a top opening box and here is what we have inside. So just because this is a Hasegawa plastic we have slightly different packaging but it's not an issue for us. We are going to open it and take a look at what is included here. So first of all we are going to start with this clear sprue because it comes in the separate sealed plastic bag and in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially it is quite an easy thing to do because we have special donate button on our website so you just click it and choose the amount you would like to send us via paypal and believe me all your contributions are really valuable for us they help us grow and they maintain our work because we are a non-profit website as all of you know so let's zoom in here we have first plastic sprue this is a clear plastic sprue and all canopy parts look really great I think it won't be a huge problem to mask them because masks are included and of course you can replicate the open cockpit with those elements another thing is that in the same plastic bag we had those vinyl polycaps I'm not sure where they will be used maybe for landing gear views but we will check it in a a uh, few moments when we will be uh, reading the assembly manual but first here we have plastic sprues so just give me a second I need scissors in order to open it this is a Hasegawa plastic so if you have some Hasegawa kits in your collection I mean F104 in 148 scale this will be exactly the same thing as original Hasegawa releases it might be not that young plastic but I mean it should be more than enough for detailed build in 148 scale so first of all we start with sprue which is marked with letter A here we have left fuselage half as you can see it is molded together with tail section we also have separate nose cones separate parts for the air intakes and overall detailing looks really good I mean especially considering the age of this kit we have also guiding pins inside but I'm not such a huge fan of the nose section which is glued out of two halves okay next we have exactly the same set of parts but for the opposite side and note that air brakes are also molded separately here by the way let's zoom in so that you can see that external detailing looks completely fine and with some careful painting you'll be able to bring it out and show on your model next we have another grey plastic sprue this one is dedicated to main wings we also have various doors for the winding gear and again I don't have any complaints about this part so touching points look thin enough in order to be carefully separated and if you flip it over we can see that wings will have to be glued out of separate uh, halves and actually wing edges they will be serving as a guiding elements in this case next we go on with plastic sprue which is dedicated to the engine nozzle as far as I remember there should be a brassine upgrade for this part correct me if I'm wrong here we have also cockpit base we have various parts for the wheel wells and again I would say that for the you know, such I would say aged plastic everything looks completely fine of course there will be a modern alternative to this plastic but 
I think it's still more than enough for a decent build. Next we have interconnection between various sprues but first I would like to show you this small frame which is dedicated to landing gear wheels and again I think Edward should have some uh, brushing upgrade for this area of the kit if not you can get it from some other manufacturer but here you can see that we have at least the wheel rims molded separately from the tires what should make it easier to paint those parts without resorting to masks okay next we have as I said interconnection between various sprues and I will have to zoom out a bit so here we have landing gear OX, we have also some parts for the engine air intake, we have the front landing gear wheel, we also have some landing gear wheels for the different versions, so keep it in mind, be sure to use the right one. And even the thinnest part will completely fine, I mean here you can see the dashboard looks okay, but it will be upgraded with P parts, so it should look even better. Next we have another grey plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to the tail wing parts, also for the main wing halves and again the same level of detailing and of course tail wing is molded as one piece element due to its thickness so that's really cool and it should make it easier to assemble and style this part into the right spot next we continue with this nose wheel well section which is molded together with lower fuselage section we also have fuel tanks and another engine nozzle which will be installed on the aircraft next as you remember Edward decided to add its own uh, brassine ejection seat so I will show it in a second let's open it it should be assembled out of separate parts but it's not as difficult as it might sound so let's zoom in even more here you can see those parts all together here you can see this main seat part which looks great and obviously it is better than original plastic offering which was included into the Hasegawa plastic okay next we go on with several more special bonuses so just give me a second as I said before we have mask set so as you can see those are pre-cut masks so it should be easy to apply them on the model and use them for the right purpose next we go on with this special small P thread as you can see it's written Edward with compliments and also here we have the small um, film for the target site on this aircraft because target site will be replicated with PE parts obviously and as for the PE parts we have one pre-painted PE thread so just let me take it out of the plastic bag and I will show it closer to you so here it is here we have a typical set of various parts note that we have also gloss finish over the dials which should help you copy the glasses on the dashboard of course we also have various wirings for the brake lines we have seat belts we have side walls detailing as well so overall this PE thread should bring some considerable changes to the overall appearance and I think it's worth installing onto this aircraft next I'm opening another plastic bag so just give me a second I'm not doing it on the camera because it is quite big and I don't have enough space on my table to do all this opening at the same time. So as you can guess by the sound I think here we have the decal sheet. So this one comes from Edward, surprise surprise there is no cartograph printing it was made by Edward and as far as I can guess this is already a new printing on the new machines. We have here stencils, we have decals for the cockpit, we have all necessary symbols for 8 marking options as you remember and printing quality looks impressive. I hope application will be easy as well so here you can see all those symbols in detail. That's really cool and I'm glad to see that Edward decided finally to move to their own print because I mean cartograph wasn't that good 
in comparison with original Edward decals. Next, what I have in my hands is this book. As you can see, it is packed into the separate plastic bag, so I need a second to open it. And we will take a closer look at what is printed here. As I said before, it should be dedicated to F-104 in Japanese Air Forces. We also have the author name on the cover, so it's Isami Akiyama. And this is a soft cover publication, so it is quite light, I would say. So let's zoom out a bit. It should be cover printed as far as I remember. So let's open it and check several random pages in order to understand what is included here. So as you can see there are a lot of reference photos. This might be handy for your project in order to understand what you have to weather, how you can weather. We also have interview with pilots. We have profiles included and we also have quite nice pictures of the real aircraft on air shows or air bases. Nevertheless, that's not the only brochure in this kit. We also have the assembly application manual. So, it is printed in soft cover format as usual. We have here the parts map. Note that some parts won't be used. Paints chart. Assembly process starts with cockpit. Then we continue by joining Physiology House together. And next step goes on with dashboard surprisingly. So dashboard will be assembled once fuselage halves are glued together. Next we continue with these doors, wheels, actually wings and tail wings and also air brakes, vending gear system, engine nozzle and fuel tanks. Next we continue with pilot seat, canopy parts. So note that some elements on the canopy will be copied with PE parts, so it means they were not even copied in original plastic. Here we have masks application guide, so masks will be also used for wheels as well. And stencils guide for the fuel tanks. First two marking options. This one comes from March 18, actually 1982. This one comes from June the same year. Here we have March once again, October 1979. And those are quite unusual markings, I would say. They look different for sure, so I think it will be interesting for some aircraft modelers. Here we have aircraft from November 1980. Next one is from December 1973, November 1984, October 1979 and stencil guide for this aircraft. Be sure to apply all stencils because it will benefit the overall appearance. And here you can see the related products. So I was right, we have the bracing wheels, we have the engine nozzle, we have also pylons and we have PE thread for the upgrade of this kit. So if you would like to get even better detailing, I recommend to get it as well. So as I said before, this set should be already available for purchase on official Edward website, so if you would like to get it ASAP, just go there. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and of course subscribe. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for watching today and bye.